Awesome Sports is back. Welcome to your summer league. My name is Jess and this is going to be your virtual welcome speech. Well, this season may not look quite like your last, we promise you're still in for an awesome time here at Volo. Our goal in this video is to go over our safety procedures and protocols to keep both our players as well as our staff safe so we can keep playing for seasons to come. Before you arrive, we need you to download the Volo app on your smartphone. Each week, you will be required to RSVP so we have a proper headcount to stay within capacity limits. You will also answer the health declaration to make sure you're not experiencing any COVID-like symptoms. We are not allowing any non-registered substitutes or spectators on site. Everybody present must be a registered member of the roster. This is a map of Lincoln Park. The most important thing to note is the safety check-in area. We ask that you go directly to this area when you first arrive to check in. There will be cones marking where you should be in line six feet apart. There will also be hand sanitizer available at the check-in for you to use before, during, and after your games. And we're back with our health and safety protocols. Step number one when you arrive to the field is wear your mask. This is something you should already be doing, but in case you forgot, here's your reminder. We are then gonna have everybody space out, lining up at our check-in table at least six feet apart. We'll have cones placed out as well as signage, so please follow them. They are there for a reason. Thank you. Um, we then will have you step up to the table. We're gonna check off that you've already RSVP'd on the app as well as filled out the health declaration. Once we know those are good to go, we will check your temperature with one of these touchless thermometers and then provide you with some hand sanitizer just to be safe. Our final step during the check-in is giving you one of these lovely wristbands so everybody else at the field knows that you are good to play. Your masks must remain on for the entire duration of play. If you do need to catch your breath or take a sip of H2O, totally fine. You may remove it as long as you step six feet away from the nearest person. We're now gonna kick it over to Joanna to go over your league rules as well as mass related penalties. All games are one hour or seven innings, whichever comes first. Games are played 10 v 10 with a seven infielder max. Your team must have a minimum of three women and three men on the field at all times. You'll receive a shadow out if your team doesn't meet the gender requirements. All players on your team should bat. Make sure to keep the same batting order for the entire game. All players start with one strike. After four balls, you'll have the opportunity to walk. But if you decline, it will be your last chance during that at bat. There's no stealing, leading, or bunting. Bunts will result in a strike. For innings one through four, there's a seven run max. For innings five through seven, or the final inning, there'll be unlimited runs. Your ump will let you know if there's an area of the field that will earn you a home run and where the out of bounds lines are. On overthrows, the runner gets their base at the point of the throw, plus one additional base. In cases where the base runner runs past first base, they must clearly turn towards second base to be granted second and third in overthrow situations. Here are some additional COVID rules. All players are required to wear a mask whenever they're within six feet of another player, regardless of if the player is on their team or on the opposing team. If a batter or runner does not have their mask on and makes contact with another player, it will result in an automatic out. If a fielder or defensive player does not have their mask on and makes contact with another player, the runner involved in the play will score. No other players will advance. Repeated or blatant violations will result in the ref asking you to leave the game. Before signing off, we want to let you know why we play. We play so kids can win. A portion of your registration goes toward putting on 100% free leagues for kids all over the country. What's even better is if you want to volunteer as a coach with one of our kids leagues just once a week, virtual or in person, you can then play in as many adult leagues as you want, totally free as well. You give back, then you get back. So in summary, you're getting to stay active, meet new people, and help better your community. What could be better than that? We can't wait to see you out on the field.